Ciao Juventini of the world, welcome back on my channel, my name is Giuseppe and today I want to speak about the last big news. At least that's what the journalists in Italy are saying. Higuain doesn't want to come back to Juve. Reading the papers and looking at Italian television, looks like Higuain doesn't want to come back to Juventus. For mainly three reasons they are saying. The first reason is because he's fearing the coronavirus. Second reason is because he wants to stay with his ill mother. And the third reason is because it can be a tactic to extend his contract. Remember, his contract will end in 2021. So it, it can use, thanks to or uh, through his brother, Nicola, he wants to extend his contract to Juventus. So let's see what's right and what's not right. So fear of coronavirus, for me, that's already a really strange uh, excuse, let's say, because coronavirus is not only in Italy, it's everywhere in the world. It's where I live, in Belgium, it's in France, it's in Italy, it's in the United States, and it's also in Argentina. So really strange that Higuain would fear uh, the coronavirus in Italy. So it's for me, that news is already stopped. And especially because we know that if he goes back to Juventus, he will be controlled so much and so good by all the doctors that maybe he will be less at risk at Juventus than in uh, Argentina at his home with his family. Then you have a second theory, uh, staying with his ill mother. And on that one, I have to say, that's a good reason because we all love our moms, okay? Mothers are maybe the person we love the most on earth. So if his mother is ill and lives in Argentina, I would understand that Higuain wants to stay with her because you, you don't know how long will she, she be in, in good, good shape, how long will she live, I hope so long possible, but I understand that psychologically it's hard and you want to stay with your mom. When the journalists are saying that he wants to stay with his mother in Argentina, they are giving two options. One is going to play from next year immediately with River Plate, the, the club where he started. So a bit like Tevez with Boca Juniors, he went uh, from Boca Juniors, he went to Europe and then he wanted to go back in Argentina playing with his favorite club. So that's a bit the same theory with Argentina, uh, with Higuain playing for River Plate and being closer to his mom. Okay, that's one option. And then the second option, still in America, but then in North America, uh, going to LA Galaxy, Los Angeles Galaxy. And then for me here, it's already a bit doubting. Why? Because uh, Los Angeles and uh, Argentina are not really, really close. You still have to travel with the plane to be with your mom. So it makes no sense. And then you have a third theory that Higuain with his brother, Nicola, they are trying to put some pressure, saying to Juventus, we don't come back. Why? To extend the contract. How stupid would that be if it, that would be true? That's really stupid because you don't mess with Juventus. You don't mess with a club like Juventus saying, I don't come back to Torino unless you extend my contract. That's crazy. That would be the biggest stupid thing ever for Higuain. Because if the guy stops and doesn't go back to, to Juventus, to Torino, um, he will have to pay from his own money, legal affair, contract, and all those things, advocate. So that would be so stupid. And I'm sure Andrea Agnelli with Nedved and Paradici, they will never accept that extending a contract of a player who is actually putting pressure on them. So three theories that makes no sense for me. The most plausible would be uh, staying with his mother, but uh, also there. If you go to River Plate, why not? Can be possible going to Los Angeles Galaxy. It's already um, really strange, okay? So three, three theories that uh, I tried explaining you. Then let's speak about the facts. Juventus denied any communication with Higuain. So Juventus is saying, uh, guys, we, we didn't have any communication with Higuain, so we have no idea where the, those rumors are coming from. And then another thing that proves that maybe uh, all the news that we are reading and the rumors uh, are not correct is the fact that Juventus, as a club, uh, they didn't even put a return date for the players. So we are reading that Douglas Costa, Ronaldo and uh, Pjanic are maybe coming back today or tomorrow uh, to, to Torino. Don't forget, it was a really important rule for the 
their players that are abroad in another country, if they come back to Italy, they have to be isolated 14 days, okay? So uh, if we know that probably or maybe, but that's not even a certainty, uh, the clubs in Italy will start training back on the 4th of May, it means that if they come back today or tomorrow, uh, they, they, they start being in quarantine for 14 days and then they can start uh, training with the uh, rest of the team, okay? So that's why there is a bit of pressure like, uh, is Higuain coming back or not? But let's be honest, Juventus didn't even put a starting date, they didn't ask their player to come back. Uh, so we don't know what, what will happen there. Taking all those points into consideration, we go back to the title of that article in Corriere della Sport, who says in Italia, in Italian, potrebbe scoppiare una grana, forse. What means? Eventually, it can explode a big problem for Juventus, point, 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 maybe, probably. So, if you read the title, you see that they are actually writing something without any facts. They are supposing that Higuain doesn't want to go back to Juventus for so many crazy theories. One, as we said, a fear of coronavirus, a illness of the mother and three extending contract. Three totally different facts and uh, if, you, if you ask for facts, there are no. And you go back to the title and you see that there are two times maybe. Probably, maybe, can be a problem for Juventus. So guys, before uh, creating big cases or affairs or rumors, uh, stay to your job as a journalist. Speak about facts. I'm counting myself to see Higuain uh, taking part of the rest of the season if we start again. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, put a like, don't forget to subscribe and really important, share my channel with the rest of the world with the rest of the English-speaking Juventus fans. Let them be up to date with the news of Juventus, what they are saying in Italy. That's really important to share that message. Meanwhile, don't forget, like, subscribe, and put in your comments what you think about that Iguain affair. Thank you, and as we always said, Forza Juventus.